It's gonna be short. And we ain't never got a box again. Well, right. well, well, well. I already been getting these back, but but but, but now it's time for yeah. you to get your just do. Yeah, you know the deal. We back again. Yo. A round of applause for Jersey's finest. A lot of content creators not worthy, but they minus. They get offended and start singing like the whiners. Talking like they tough, but it's only screaming and whining. My homie just do us to catch you don't come to. Your squad get run through. By the time you come to, you duck food. You suckers talk tough on the internet. Revealing all your threats. Now we got you trapped in the net. Just do be on this grind. Y'all better hustle up. You dead lifted 90 pounds. We doing muscle ups. There's really no comparison. His voice sound like a derringer. Throwing a towel that's just embarrassing. My dog just very philosophical and psychological. And he mixed it all with good boxing news. These YouTubers feel like Bishop. I guess they got the juice. But it's lonely at the top to just to feel like child abuse. Be respectful, he don't want to talk wild and loose. If you can't relate, you get dismissed like a mild dispute. These weird cats will tell lies, then they hide the truth. Why beyond views, you lose your life when you collide with dude. It's just do boxing. Are you cowards quit jockin'? Kirk is official with no other options. Yeah, yo. You know the deal. Judah Ben, we in the spot. Just do boxing. Yeah. And a f to the left, to the left. Mm. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box. To the left, in the closet. That's my stuff. Yes, yes. if I bought it, say, don't touch. Don't touch. If you're in that mess, that's fine. Could you walk it? It's my name that is on that mess So remove your bed so I can call you a kid I'm standing in the yard See and he's telling me how I'm such a fool He's talking me out I will never have a Good Friday, good Friday to the people That's gonna always be funny, yo That's goaded, yo That is funny, man That's some funny stuff, yo Salute tag by in the building Good Friday, man this is just going to be a little light, little early cook, man, just because, you know, it's work to be put in, man. It's work to be put in. And everybody in the building, y'all punch that like button. And um, y'all stay tuned, too, for later on, man. I'm going to have Shadeja Green on, and we're going to build. We're going to have us a nice, good build, man, you know. So I, I want to see all y'all in the building later, man. I'm just doing this is a bonus live. Like, you know, you just we building. And um, <clears throat> I'm about to put that on the shirt because I, I feel like people be um be be being unoriginal, man. And like I, I always I've been saying this for months on end. I'm all about the build and building. We building over here. And, and I don't want nobody. Listen, I ain't I ain't make the word up, obviously. But that's my that's my frame of mind. That's my state of mind when I'm when I'm up here. I build. This is what I call it. You see, I put it in my damn my descriptions let's build let's build so man y'all know who started that building and pushing that i don't want nobody just tired of these unoriginal ass people man for real like they can't can't come up with their own stuff so they just kindly hijack something off nah i ain't i ain't rocking with that but anyway good friday man much love to everybody in the building we're gonna have us a little boxing conversation today man Miss Just Do, salute to my queen. How you feeling, baby girl? Yes, you know, we always cooking Ashley's Corner. My cousin, what's good with it? How you feeling today? I am work too hard over there. Omega Red, what's good with it, family? How you feeling? Shout out, I salute to the queen. What's going on with you, queen? How you been? D Free, my Brody, what's happening with it, D Free? I've been meaning to hit your line too, D Free. I'm, I'm going to hit you, Brody. I'm going to hit you. D Man, what's happening with it, my bro? Appreciate you stopping through as always, man. 
Savage Queen, good morning. How you doing today, Queen? Appreciate you stopping through. Instead of cooking, my breakfast. You know what I'm saying? I don't eat cereal, man. You know, man, talk to. I appreciate you pulling up, man. Grease with fire, salute, family. Appreciate you as well, bro. So you like those towels? You gotta use water on the cornflakes, man. Fair with everyone, bro. Now, love how you see, and you know what? That right there. That's why that's why I keep pushing Omega because when when somebody recognizes it, it's it's one more reason to keep trying to not even trying to, to to keep being fair to to boxing. You get what I'm saying? I feel like that's the that's the best approach. And, and look, I'm gonna play a little clip. Like just do. Just think about how many people are saying just do. They don't know it's me yet, but it's me. You get what I'm saying? Like people talking about getting they just do. That's what that's what we all about. That's what my name is. What it is. And if you if y'all be listening, pay attention to how many fighters just naturally say that term. They not talking about me, but they talking about me. You get what I'm saying? Salute the Omega Red. Appreciate you recognizing that, man. Cause you know this grind is different, man. And a lot of times people are here with one thing they disagree with, and they just assume you're not as solid as 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 how I be keeping it. You know what I'm saying? So I try to keep it as straight down the middle as possible. I feel like that's what my name represents. Just do represents being fair to boxing. You know what I'm saying? We could be firm, but we're going to be fair. You know what I'm saying? Almond milk. I never really tried almond milk, though. Salute to my Brody D, man. Much love and appreciation to y'all, everybody in the building, man. But we're going to have us a little conversation, like I said, man. Hope everybody feeling good on this Friday. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's fight week, man. It's fight week. We, <clears throat> we got one more day to go, y'all. We got one more day. I told y'all I was going to be pushing and, you know, speaking on this fight. <clears throat> all week until it and until they get here and like i said they keep giving us different things to speak on and you know it's entertainment man so i'm all about the conversation never i'm never out to um slander the fighters or anything like that you get what i'm saying it's just we're gonna talk about it though man we gonna talk about it man we are man not there i'd be hitting them. like yeah i appreciate you bro word, word man and lately Lately, y'all, I've been getting a, a lot more replays, too, which I could appreciate a lot of people. Like, like one of my lives the other day, man, I had like 300 and some replays, man. Salute to y'all for pulling up, man. People was coming through, man. So, again, we just building, man. We got a lot of work to do. I know it's no, no two days the same, so I'm always sitting up here trying to find a way to put in some work, man, for real. So, salute to Omega Red, man. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, you can't win for losing, right? But um, <clears throat> so let's get to it, y'all. You know, the big, I don't know how big it is to y'all, but I'm seeing several people talking about it. So I, I assume it's a big enough deal to the point where it's gotten people attention and, and they're speaking on it, right? Um, we see Ryan Garcia gambling, right? You see it, you see him gambling, man. And again, you can do what you want in your free time. Like you're a grown man, you can do whatever it is you want. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm gonna pull this up. You know what I'm saying, matter of fact, <laughs> yeah, I heard gambling with him, him and Charlo, and Charlo said he got a different relationship with him than he do with Tank or whatever the case may be. So, um, but I'm here to ask, man, I'm here to ask a question, y'all. Is is he focused, or is this just something that you know? Is he really focused, or is he losing focus? This man out here gambling, and the reason I, I'm bringing it up, I don't know why everybody else brought it up, right? Just as your boy bringing it up, because you see Keith Thurman, big forehead ass in the um, picture as well. This Now, I mix and match the pictures. Obviously, they didn't all gamble together, but they mind. You see how perfectly that go right there? Like, they hand. You would think that they was gambling together <laughs> by the way this picture look, bro. You would think these dudes was, was gambling together, but they not. They not. You know what I'm saying? Fizzle was good with it. What's happening with it, man? Appreciate you stopping through. Yeah, man, he can't win for losing, bro. Work for 12 hours and I gotta come home to cereal. <laughs> I lie, I happen to like cereal, y'all. Dang all week, man. Appreciate you, shower. Much love and appreciation, Queen. Salute the fizzle, man. Appreciate you stopping through it as always, man. Safe travels, ass. Safe travels on that road, cuz uh. Safe travels. Salute to everybody in the building. Johnny Q, what's happening with it, my bro? 
gambling with his life. A little money can't hurt, right, Omega? <laughs> we up talk about Tank with Ash and that he look weight drain. It be I sound like they hating a little bit, man. I be trying to stay away from saying that, but y'all dudes be hating on Tank, bro. I don't. And my favorite fighter is Shakur, so I don't want to hear no. Nah, you just saying that because that's your favorite. No, I'm saying it because it's real. Y'all dudes be hating. And when I say y'all not in the chats, these people be hating when it comes to Tank Davis, man. I don't know what it is about his success or 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 whatever it is. It, just seeing him is just bringing a hoe right out of these dudes. Yo, bringing a hoe right up out of them, bro. Right up out of them, acting all sensitive. And, you know what I mean? Acting all sensitive. Y'all punch that like button for you, bro, man. We're going to have us a light cook. And again, y'all, y'all stay tuned for later, man. I'm going to have Shadeja Green on. You know, y'all, y'all, I'm going to need the participation participation of the family. You know what I'm saying? I want some, want to be able to ask the champ some great questions, man. So I include my chat in every, every piece of content that I do to allow, to make sure y'all understand that we, we a voice over here. We're a unit. We rock out together. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, um, y'all stay tuned for that too, man. I'm gonna pull this little clip up. With, with Ryan Garcia ass and uh Charlo doing they little doing they little gambling thing. They doing they little gambling and things. You know what I'm saying? Little gambling and things, you know. And um I also want to play this clip from Devin Haney talking about um, you know, gave his fights his thoughts, thoughts on the fight. He also said something about him fighting Ryan Garcia. Now I want to see if people gonna keep the same energy because you know, people are calling, you know, Tank versus Ryan a, a exhibition, right? But, I mean, I wonder what those same people that's calling it an exhibition got to say about the fact that he's, you know, Devin Haney is saying if he wins, he'll fight him, right? You get what I'm saying? So it's like if it's an exhibition when Tank fight him, I wonder, are they going to call it an exhibition if he get in there with, 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 uh, with Haney? You get what I'm saying? I just wonder. I mean, we pull out, we we point out the double standards, you know what I'm saying? For real, Tank and Ryan, I like this fight. I do too, Mega, I do, bro. I do. Salute to everybody in the building. Mm -hmm. We there's a fight yesterday, so we fight it more, but I'm tuning in. Yeah, I get you in terms of that. I definitely understand. I just think his um his mouth got him in his position. And the fact that he's been able to still remain undefeated through it all, I think. Gave him every, you know what I mean? Gave him all the leverage he needed to get the fight. And I think it's, it's, it's big for boxing business-wise. I think a lot of people stand to make a lot of money, not just the fighters. That's why I think people really wanted to see this fight. They don't care who win or lose. They trying to get paid. Marcus Bell, salute, fan. Appreciate you stopping through on this early grind. Like I said, man, y'all tune back in, man. Had them notifications on. I'm going to need y'all in the building when we, when we bring the champ on, man. I like Ryan, I enjoy his fights. Right, he's not a bad kid, bro. He's not, not at all. Not a fan. Though. I get what you're saying. His mentality, he's very young minded. You feel me, Shaw? We got some growing to do, and it's all, it's all good. Yeah, talk this up into a huge ass wolf. Facts. And I just keep hearing so many people saying, you know, you can't sleep on Ryan. You can't count Ryan out. Tank ain't sleeping on him. Tank ain't counting him out. The ref gonna count him out though. If they even allowed to go that far, you get what I'm saying? But he definitely talked himself into this one, man. But um, let me pull up. Let me pull. I got ten knocking Ryan out between the ropes. Along <laughs> the Ryan raising his hands up, talking about he won. <laughs> James, appreciate you, fam, for smashing that like. How you feeling today, man? Salute to everybody in the building. Good Friday as we get started, man. And again, this is just a bonus live. Because I love boxing and I love talking this boxing with y'all. So, you know, I'm still coming back later to do my my um build with Shadeja. So y'all stay tuned for that too as well, man. We we rocking out today. Mike Biggs boxing, my bro was happening with it. Appreciate you sliding through, Brody. Um Tay Tay the real cleaner MMA combat. Salute clean. How you feeling this morning? Salute to everybody, but yeah, let me play. Let me pull this uh, little clip up from this dude, man. Again, man, and my question for for Ryan and, and 
a question that I'm a, I want to ask y'all family. Do y'all think history re going to repeat itself? Do y'all think him being out gambling and things like that is is enough to keep him distracted on what he should be doing? You know what I'm saying? And again, I say history repeat itself because we seen we seen what uh Keith Thurman did, and you know we know AB to be one of the bigger biggest gamblers in boxing, right? So if he got to tell you that you should you should go 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 in your room or go chill out, then you know you was doing too much. Now my thing is, you see um Ryan and he he in the video with with Charlo. You know what I'm saying? They just having a good time. And again, then bro, it's cool. Got them days off. Enjoy your days off, Tay Tay. I'm pretty sure you worked hard enough for him. Ryan has hasn't been focused. That's what I'm saying. So do y'all think like this gambling is is gonna make it worse for him? Cause bro, cause bro out here, you know, he out here having a grand, a grand old time with Mel. Hold on, give me a second shot. And I'm just saying, like, you seen Keith Thurman doing the same thing, right? And he, that's a, he lost his first fight of his career to Manny Pacquiao. Seemed like. You know, potentially just not being focused the way he should have been. You get what I'm saying? And while you should have been resting or relaxing or probably game planning, strategizing, whatever, you decided to waste your time and, and money because I'm pretty sure you didn't win. I'm pretty sure you didn't win. You was gambling for a long time. Pretty sure you didn't win. Ain't like you came up. So you, I just think the timing of it couldn't have been worse for him to go. You know what I mean? To be, you got. Biggest fight of your career ahead of you against a legend, and you out here gambling to the point where a guy like AB got to tell you you bugging. That's crazy to me. Like that's that's crazy. His ass, man. He's supposed to be getting those two pounds off. He had one thirty-eight. Mm. We're going to see, man. We're going to see. It's crazy. You see Oscar try to make it a big deal. Like, bro, Oscar, man, stop, yo. Let it go, man. Let it go. Like, it, it, it put, they putting so much into it, but he could have avoided all of that by going to 135, yo. Just fighting at 135 where he's supposed to be at. Ryan living his good life while he can. Facts. He's going to be living a great one after this, Omega. You know what I mean? You know, ain't nothing wrong with a good, a good night's rest. You know what I'm saying? And that's what sleep going to be on the menu for him <laughs> tomorrow night. I'm telling you. Sleep will be on the menu. Should be preserving himself. Experience. Yeah, right. Salute. Um, I was boxing 22. How you feeling, bro? Should be preserving himself. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He just don't fish in that pantyhose, Oscar. <laughs> you know it, Tay Tay. You know it. And his ass, and I ain't giving him no credit, man. And he was reading off the paper, man. That was supposed to come off the top of the dome, uh, Oscar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fishing that pantyhose. <laughs> That's what he be on, y'all. That's what he be on. But yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> I'm just waiting for this. I'm gonna pull this little clip up for y'all, man. But yeah, he he out here gambling. Like I said, Keith Thurman looked like he wasn't focused as he should have been. In the biggest fight of his career, he decided he wanted to be a gambler. You know what I'm saying? And and uh, and it cost him. It cost him his his one and only uh loss of his career. You know what I'm saying? And now you fast forward to today, it is it's crazy because you know now he's uh out there gambling with Charlo now Ryan Garcia. And you should be somewhere focused. That's why I'm saying, man, you treating this like you made it already or something, man. You 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 gonna be in for a rude awakening, my friend. I really think that. I really think you're gonna be in for a rude awakening, bro. And it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's most certainly gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt your feelings, brother. Your feelings will will be hurt. No oh, man, his feelings will be hurt, man. Y'all just give me a second. I'm just getting this video together. Okay. 
little videos just to so y'all can see what King Rye and, and, and uh Jamel Charlo's up to. Y'all punch that like button in the mouth one time for you, bro. Use fish net stock and they catch <laughs> some fish where you cover that. <laughs> They're going to be a good fight, though. This is going to be a good fight, yo. It's going to be a great fight tomorrow night, man. A lot of activity, a lot of energy. Should be very fun for everybody that's tuning in. Get what I'm saying? Don't let nobody ruin the entertainment factor by trying to downplay this fight by calling it an exhibition. And my thing is, strictly to those people that's downplaying the fight, saying they won't buy it, say they're not buying it because the exhibition is not worth their money. My thing is, would it be worth your money if Devin Haney fought him? Because he all he definitely said something about fighting. You get what I'm saying? So I wonder where they keep that same energy and where they not buy the fight. You get what I'm saying? Is that's gonna hurt? <laughs> Tell you, Tay Tay, he's gonna feel it, man. Bro ass gonna feel it. He is going to feel it. He can he can bet his bottom dollar. You gonna see. You're gonna see. It's just not. It's just not a smart. Uh, it's not a. It's. It doesn't. It's not smart to be gambling right now, man. You need. You need to be focused, bro. I know you want to enjoy yourself. I feel like you should. You could do all of that stuff after you fight. You could go gamble if you really want to. You get what I'm saying? Because all that is is just really a waste of your time and energy for real, for real. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure you didn't walk away a winner. You get what I'm saying? You probably lost your damn money. These people are just giving your money away, man. I gotta stop giving y'all money away to these to these folk. Gig, you dig what I'm saying? Y'all punch that like button in the mouth one time. In his mouth one time. He was talking crazy. Lies over. <laughs> Listen to him. Lies over. What is that? Lies over. Did he say lines only, nigga? Lines only. Oh. Oh, okay, King Rod. Big dog, Willie. What's good with it, bro? How you feeling this morning, man? Appreciate y'all pulling up on this early cook. Like I said, this was just a bonus live. Y'all know we working, man. We always working. And I'm going to be back later with, with our with our boxing build. I just want everybody to be in the building. Y'all get y'all some questions for, for the for the chat, man. And we gonna build. We're gonna have us a good a good turnout, man. We heard them lions only, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Lions only. Whoa. Woo. Okay. Lions only. <laughs> man. He meant that, didn't he? Lions only. I'm trying to probably it's like, man, what the hell is this boy talking about now? Man, he bogus for that, though, y'all. He bogus for that, y'all. Lions only, ninja. You dog, so you escape kind of dungeon. Ha, ha, ha. Escape the dungeon. To be honest, I don't know why either one of these dudes would want to be gambling right here. It's like you gambling here, then you gamble, betting 10000 against Tank. It's like you're at this point, bro. You're just giving away the money, ain't you, uh, uh Maul? You just get hit around the trip, man. <laughs> yo, facts, yo. Check him out. If you lose, I'll give you the money. I'll give Man, he excited, ecstatic, getting his gamble on, losing his money. Big Charlo backing him up. Listen to him. Hurt. Man, he about to get himself hurt, y'all. He about to get smoked. He is about to get smoked like a pack of cools, y'all. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I'm assuming he gonna get smoked like one. Like a pack, like a fresh pack of cools, y'all. A fresh pizzazz. My 
not bad, Chad. One point six. You might get lucky. <laughs> she said a real one. <laughs> That's a Charlo with the 49ers jacket on. Yeah, uh, Mike Biggs, this this more. Yeah, I'll give you the Hey, look at my camera on the even. What's the name? This may be my thing to Charles Corn Balls. No, it ain't just you, big dog. Uh, remember, Tony Harrison felt the same way. Tony Harrison was going off about Charlo, wasn't he? <laughs> Tony Harrison wasn't beat. He did not like no Charlo, bro. He did not like Charlo. If you lose, I'll give you the hunk. I agree. I'm pretty sure that's one back on me. Yeah. Tank, but we crazy if Ryan went right. Yo, it's uh, like most people got tank, but uh, Omega, it's a nice amount of people that's really picking Ryan, bro. They straight up, hands down, picking him. <laughs> they think he can win. I ain't trying to put it past him and say he can't win. Like anybody can win a fight on any given day, right? But, mm mm. Mm -mm. Ryan won't stop jacking. He need he need to chill. <laughs> he do, man. He do. And again, y'all, I think his lack of focus again is gonna get him in trouble, yo. You out here gambling. Remember, Keith Thurman gambled and end up that was his first loss. He should have been somewhere focused and resting, resting up, get getting his mind right, keeping his mind right. Ryan, you 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 soaking it up too much. You having too much fun before the fight even starts. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to say with him. He's just having a little bit too much fun. And it's, I think it's going to come back to her. I'm saying, yeah, I've seen a few. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was going to love that second press conference with Maul. Uh, who did he fight? Which one? If you want to hear us when I would stop talking, they ain't never going to stop talking. They probably is still talk even if he lose, big dog. Like you people crazy. Say it's not the bad bread. Right. It's a couple people, D man, but that's what I said too. That's what I said too. Like I don't even bet. But this one, I'll definitely bet on this. And I'll be comfortable doing it, bro. I will be very comfortable bet for uh, think in this one. I'm telling you. I will be very comfortable, man. But I'm gonna show y'all salute the fight hype. I'm gonna show y'all what um Charlo said, undercard boxing. What's good with the family? How you feeling? Marlon Harrison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harrison was going off. Wasn't he shower? He was going off, man. This is a ploy to get Ryan. It could be. It could It could be, D-Man. I swear it could be. It, it could be. You know what I'm saying? It, it false that. The last thing he, I'm telling you, false confidence would be one of the worst things to give to a guy like Ryan Garcia. I mean, and, and have him thinking a certain. I'm telling you, yeah. No, nah, I got, I got you, shout. I know which one you met, uh, Marilyn uh, Harrison. The second one, yeah, it was entertaining. Both of them. Who's spying his camp? It's pretty shit. Could be his brother. I bet my rent, you know, rent money on this. <laughs> no, it's real. Was somebody betting that rent money? You know what I'm saying? Good fight. Those people she can struggle with Ryan and he's trash. So that about the really fight. Some people here regardless. Right, right, Omega. They are. They are. The same people that like I said, the same people that's calling Tank and Ryan the exhibition fight saying they not paying for it are the same people that if Devin Haney was to fight him next, they would pay for it and it wouldn't be an exhibition. That's weird to me. Wasn't nobody in mind. I see it can't. It was just a mind game. Yeah, you know, I'm telling you, bro. At the end of the day, it just don't look like the right work was being put in, if we being honest. 
if we be honest. See what this is. Pull this up, man. Like I said, salute the fight hype. They always do great work. This was what Charlo had to say on the relationship. They always trying to squeeze in all these damn ads, bro. Obviously, obviously. You gotta punch that like button. Yeah, facts. I, I, I feel you. I feel you, Omega. And it, this is, again, that's why when y'all come here, I try to, you know, make sure that people enjoy the conversation in boxing. There'd be too many people mad at the sport for nothing, bro. For nothing. <laughs> Jean Jackets of the offer. <laughs> boxing fam tonight, ESPN Plus for some boxing in Ireland. Salute the undercard boxing. Always for the updates, man. Fate, my guy. What's good with it, Brody? How you feeling? I gotta get my seed started. I'm laughing. <laughs> right on the car. He's stupid. That's stupid, bro. Um, but yeah, let me play this little clip from Fight Fight Hype with Jamal Charlo explaining his his relationship with Tank and, and, and Ryan Garcia. And he's gonna tell you who he picked and why. telling you, a lot of people just be having the weirdest relationship when it comes to tank for him to be a quiet ass dude like that he'd be quiet as hell people just be uh i don't know some dudes just comfortable with hating you if that's the case they don't mind they don't mind hating you salute to everybody in the building man we're gonna get through this man we're gonna play the salute the fight hype man uh let's see what jamal charlo talking about Oh, my bad, John. Got the beat on. Get out of here. 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 Get out Ryan Zach was very happy that he took a bet on Ryan. Yeah, I know. That's not my guy, you know. I got a bigger relationship with Ryan than I do Tank. I mean, I ain't worried about the shit that happened in New York, but it is what it is. Mm, salute to the fan. Right, right, right. I'm with you, Omega. Big dog. What you say you're going to be on later, just do? Yeah, I'm um, still coming back on at my regular time, big dog. Four o'clock. We got an um, interview with Shadeja Green later on. So she'll she'll I'll I'll get the table started. I'll probably be on for a little while before she gets there. She should probably pop in about an hour or so into the show, but I'm still gonna start at four o'clock at my at our regular time. And we're gonna build for a minute until she gets situated and, and comes through. So definitely I will be on later, family, and we will be chopping it up with Shadeja Green. And we just trying to have another good build. You know what I mean? Y'all got some good questions or something y'all might want to ask her. Just type them in the chat. However y'all do it, I try to catch everything I can, and we just going to have us another good build, man. And after I, we build with her, we're going to be on to the next fighter. I got another couple fighters in mind that I'm looking to try to get get on here as well. So we're going to see. So far, so good. Things have been smooth and positive, and I appreciate, you know, Shadeja Green reaching back and making this process a very simple one. You know what I mean? Not being diva-ish and none of that, just – humble easy to talk to and, and, and approach right? so we're gonna make it happen for all the boxing family tonight the best i like fight fighter of the generation fighting today love you on bell <laughs> right look, look like cool modi with all that leather i'm telling you bro i'm telling you but let's listen to what charlo say about you know his relationship with these guys Ryan's dad was very happy to take a bet on Ryan. Yeah, I know. That's not my guy, you know. I got a bigger relationship with Ryan than I do Tank. I mean, I ain't worried about the shit that happened in New York, but... Yeah. You talking about this stuff that happened in New York when it was going back and forth when uh, Mel Charlo called himself going off on um, both, both uh, uh, Tank and Broner. You know what I'm saying? That's the stuff he talking about right here, but let me, let's play it. 
Nah, we, we, we got me the odds. So I put up 10, and then he, he, he I, I win 20, running like his ass out. If not, then he had a little 10,000, you know what I mean? You can tell me about your debut. What do you remember about your debut? Uh, nah, come on, man. Uh, what's up? 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 What's now, no disrespect, man. I'm going to stop it real quick. No disrespect. See, that's the problem that I'd be having with these damn busters. Like, first of all, this man been out the ring almost two years. He what, like 30, 32 and no? Why the hell are you asking him about his pro debut right now? Are you serious? Why would you be asking a man about his pro debut? Then you go even farther. I guess because you feel like he established now. He comfortable. It's cool to ask that man how much he got paid for his fight, man. Shut up, man. Ask better questions, dummy. Like you, you get in front of this man to ask him that. You really ask this man about his pro debut right now? Are you serious? Like yo, these dudes kill me. These these where where do y'all come from? Like that's a you can tell you don't watch boxing. Nobody that watch boxing want to know that how much he got paid in his pro debut. Shut up, man. Ask a better question. I can't believe he just did that. You, how much he get paid? Like why do it matter, bro? He fought. Told that man he looked like. His opponent, though, from his pro debut, that's crazy. Yeah, then not my bad, y'all. Where though, chop was let me on card. Two time national champ, some young got skill, right? Where though, chop? Why would you ask that question? See what what's happening with it, fam. Tim comes from nose, nose candy combo. Oh, yeah. I, I be hearing some, I hear things, but you just never know, right? But man, salute to y'all. Let me play this, man. My bad, y'all. You work, but someone wants to pay you 20,000. Nah, we, we, got, we, we got me the odds. So I put up 10, and then he, he, he I'm, I win 20, running like his ass out. If not, then he had a little 10,000, you know what I mean? Tell me about your debut. What do you remember about your debut? I knocked him out. What's debut, yo. Right now, you want to know about like, your pro how debut. Get paid? Huh? How much did you get paid for your debut? I think a thousand dollars. How much did he get paid? It was like a stack. Uh, how do you see uh, Ryan pulling it off, though, Saturday night? How's he get it done? I just said, if Ryan win, it'll be freakish. You didn't you know just say I mean? that. It's, it's going to be didn't freakish just say if he that. win. I don't feel like he a better fighter than Tank. I like Tank as a fighter. What's up, man? I like Tank as a fighter, you know. Yeah. I like him as a fighter, but I don't, I, I don't think he gonna just knock him out. You know what I mean? Do you think you picking against uh, this is same dude? Yeah, like my thing. The thing that's blowing me the most. Listen, man. Everybody can have whatever it is their opinion is, right? That's fine. That's cool, right? But my issue is, how do y'all keep saying? Y'all betting against the guy that is the better fighter, the more experienced fighter. Like, I'm trying to understand where y'all confidence for, for, for a guy that y'all pretty much admitting is not the better fighter. It's not the more ex experienced fighter. It's not the more seasoned fighter. Not the more battle tested. I mean, how many different ways could I say this? How the hell are y'all betting for a guy that y'all openly saying is not better than the other guy that y'all betting against? That So, again, I don't want to call you a hater. But you could most certainly understand why people would call you one. Y'all sound crazy. That sounds crazy. Oh yeah, he ain't, he ain't like he the better fighter. But I'm a vote. I'm a root for him anyway. I'm gonna pick him to win anyway. Not only am I gonna pick him, I'm gonna bet ten thousand on him because he ain't the better fighter. What the hell what kind of logic is that? Seriously, yo, these dudes are strange, man. Charles said he got paid thousand for his first fight. Yeah. Edgar Chavez, salute to you, Brody Jersey in the building. They just be chatting in interviews. They barely be professional questions. I think they're questioning come because they don't really keep up with the sport. You know what I'm saying? They just be around. You bet in a, bet in a popularity contest. They count on the upset. I'm telling you, they are. Round that class down. These random interviews are just random. You could literally walk over the camera and mic and you ask questions. They be ruining their opportunities. I'm telling you, they get right in front of the man and just ask foolish stuff, yo. Salute to the 25 people in the building. Y'all punch the like button in the mouth on this good Friday. This is a light cook. Like I said, we will be back. The build with Shadeja Green later. From 4 o'clock, we will be back at our time. But we just going to build how this quick conversation, man, and Salute to everybody showing love, showing up, man. We're going to keep building. We're going to keep grinding, y'all.
I like Tank as a fighter, you know. Yeah. I like him as a fighter, but I don't, I don't, I don't think he gonna just knock him out. You know what I mean? Do you see you picking against uh, Davis at all? Because like you said, what happened back in New York, 2018, or is it just you just like Ryan? I like Ryan um, as a person. We talk boxes. We have a relationship outside of this media boxing stuff. Like we talk, you know what I mean? Me and his daddy, we cool. Like we cool with Ryan, you know. Uh, not before this fight even got made. Before all this, we always been cool with Ryan. Uh, cool with my twin brother. We cool. I'm not cool with things like that. So I mean, not throughout like the beat and shit, but. It is what it is. So you we picking know, against him? Relate like that because you're not cool with it. So you picking against him because y'all don't relate, but you relate to Ryan, a 23 year old, 24, 23, 24 year old. You relate to him, but you don't relate to Tank. So because you don't relate to him and have a relationship with him, you batting against him. That sound weird to me. I'm not even gonna lie. That sound weird. I guess. I guess in a way. I guess you're saying Ryan is your friend. So. You ain't going to bet against your friend that I can understand that, though. But at the same time, you're ju you just told us you basically betting for the guy that's not as good as the other one. And you put ten thousand hours on it. That sound like it's pretty stupid to me. This debut was a decade ago. You know what I'm saying? We bet in the soul of the Ryan. <laughs> Draw it back. At just versus opponents to be named. Announcement coming soon. Right, right. I heard he was still fighting so lucky. Somebody said, stop asking dumbass questions. The real recognizes real and Charlo ain't keeping it real. He ain't saying the right stuff to me, y'all. Real respectfully. Y'all punch on that like button for your boy. It was just do versus Tingle, man. 20 hours and just sorry, bro. Not 10,000. Dig what I'm saying, Teach, man. At least you got the dub on your boy, Teach. Soon, like maybe we get the, uh, Demetrius Andrade. He called me the other day. I already called him back. Um, but he called me the other day. We talked for like an hour about, you know, just trying to get this shit done. Like hey, yeah. what y'all think about yeah. that? Did y'all hear what he just said? About, you know, just trying to get this shit done. Like maybe we get uh, Demetrius Andrade. Uh, we don't we don't relate like that. You know what I mean? Let's see you in a fight like this. Soon, like maybe we get uh, Demetrius Andrade. He called me the other day. I already called him back. Um, but he called me the other day. We talked for like an hour about you know just trying to get this shit done. Like that yeah. You like it? Uh, yeah. So y'all heard it first. Do you need, do you need a fight to knock on the uh, bus? Mm. So there you go, right there. We're gonna break it down. He, he's saying that him and Boo Boo spoke on the phone for like an hour about trying to make this fight fight happen. Now, remember, if y'all if y'all remember, y'all remember I did I did a live like um a while back, bro, and I was saying how these two dudes got more in common than than they might realize, and that's big, y'all. Just think about it for them to be on the phone on each other's personal line talking to each other that's what needs to take place more of that get the media out of it stop letting the media stir up stuff to the point where business ain't handled right because somebody done disrespected somebody in a certain way more of that need to happen dudes need to start getting guys numbers and getting on the phone and talking to each other bro now if this fight happened i'm definitely going to say that that conversation that they had contributed to the fight being made and that's what need to happen these fighters don't they need to understand that although a guy is your opponent, you still got to work with this dude to a certain extent to make the fight happen. So y'all can both make a bag. Y'all both been dealing with inactivity, injuries. You get what I'm saying? Major scrutiny. You get what I'm saying? You've been out of sight, out of mind, both of y'all. You get what I'm saying? New weight classes. It's a lot. It's a lot. Y'all got way more in common than you think, man. And y'all actually need each other because y'all will both be the biggest name on each other's resume respectfully that makes all the sense in the world get what i'm saying that's what that's why i said that before this is what they need to do get on the phone with each other not on social media get on the phone not social media man get on the phone with each other stop with all the bravado and all the ego don't let no ego don't don't allow your petty ego to trick you out of a bag bro and an opportunity man that's dope the fact that they got on the phone i definitely didn't expect to hear that you know what i'm saying I didn't expect to hear that King G. 
the boxologist salute fan appreciate you stopping through how you feeling he said andre charlo fire facts you get what i'm saying i had to call him back or two in spite friends are one thing but you know who's who's the better boxer right Charlo and Boo, that's what I'm saying. You want to hear it again? I got you, bro. R West, salute family. How you feeling? Like, you should just put 5K on each fighter. You know what I'm saying? I got you. He even got made. Before all this, we always been cool with Ryan. Uh, he's cool with my twin brother. He's cool. I'm not cool with things like that. So, I mean, not throughout, like, the beef and shit, but... It is what it is. We don't got we don't we don't relate like that. You know what I mean? Just to stop it real quick. It it it, it it's weird to have beef with a guy that's multiple weight classes below you. Tank a lightweight. How the hell do y'all you're a middleweight? Why the hell do you have beef with a lightweight in the begin to begin with? Just to be real. And y'all know I rock with boxing and rock with the Charlos, but I'm just asking a fair question. Why the hell are you beefing with a guy that you can't fight anyway? Get what I'm trying to say? Uh, I just, I never understood that. Like, and it wasn't no real beef. I just was, I'd just be emotional, man. Dudes be too emotional, too much ego involved. And that's what be causing these problems. It don't be nothing for real. Ain't no real beef. It's boxing, bro. It's entertainment. Y'all dudes don't be beefing. Y'all be disliking each other for petty ass reasons. You know what I'm saying? B dog, salute family, man. Top of the top to you, man. How you feeling, bro? Appreciate you stopping through. Face said 10K down the drain for real. <laughs> you gonna flush 10, 10K down the drain over beef. You get what I'm saying? Cause y'all don't relate, B Dog. Cause y'all don't relate like that. And y'all not, you get what I'm saying? R West just valid. Like, yo, what's up? Like, yeah, man. I just don't get that. I don't get it. Like, you not picking them because y'all don't have a personal relationship. Whatever. So you picking with your heart and not your brain. Cause you are smart enough and uh, and aware enough to know who the better fighter is. So imagine that. Not only betting on a guy because you're cool with him and have a personal relationship, but you're betting against a guy that you're saying is getting in the ring with a guy, a fighter that's better than him. So again, how do you how are you comfortable with betting on him? You being cool with him don't got nothing to do with nothing. You get what I'm saying? That's just weird energy. Big text, what's good with it, bro? How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through. And salute to everybody in the building. Y'all smash that like button. And y'all tune in later, man. We're gonna we gonna cook later too. Having a disagreement now. They calling it beef. You get what I'm saying? ROS, come on. Ain't no damn beef. Some of y'all be coming off as borderline jealous, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. How you gonna say it's a 50 50 fight, but then you're gonna say you know, Tank got more experience, better fighter, this harder punch, all this stuff that he got over him, but you're still picking against him. And it's no wonder why people are calling some of y'all guys haters. It's not that y'all can't have your own opinion, but you don't have nothing logical to back up why you feel the way you feel other than because you cool with him. So you just want that man to lose. And, and I just don't feel like Ryan Garcia is the guy to do it. But facts though are oh, West they crazy. Said that tags right off, right? That's the rich people's mindset. <laughs> right. Tank probably said something that offended him years ago. He might not even remember what it was. Yeah, I forgot they was going at it. Kicking. Okay. Why? Because I'm talking. Two to one eyes. And that's what I'm saying. Law, state, and salute family. Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling, bro? He said respect. Just do. Salute to you, fam. Much respect and appreciation. Salute to everybody in the building pulling up for this early cook. Y'all smash that like button. And like I said, make sure y'all notifications on so y'all can tune in later on when we have this build. And y'all get y'all some questions ready. So we could all chop it up as a, as a, you know what I mean? We, they, they call me the voice, but we got a voice over here. I keep saying that for a reason. So y'all yeah, get y'all some questions ready, man. So we can have us a good build later, man. But let me play the rest of this. It ain't that much longer. Y'all got money. You see my face losing it. Damn, I wish 
I could be in that position. Right. That's what I'm saying. He ain't, he ain't worried about losing the money. So I don't know what his wife was talking about because he obviously can't be broke like that if you're betting 10, 10K on a guy that got a real, real, real good chance of getting knocked spark out. So it's crazy. Ricky Williams, what's good with it, my bro? How you feeling? He said, the voice. <laughs> my God, what's good with it? Rick Charles seemed slight confused. I'm telling you, it's just a little different, y'all. It's a little weird. Soon, like maybe we get uh, Demetrius Andrade. He called me the other day. I already called him back. Um, but he called me the other day. We talked for like an hour about you know just trying to get this shit done. Like yeah, you like it? I, yeah. So y'all heard it first. Do you, need, do you need a fight to knock off uh -huh. the so See, and that's what that's what more of that more of that need to happen, y'all. That's all I'm saying. More of that need to happen. Stop playing the 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 politics game stop doing all the senseless frivolous calling out in the media when y'all really be y'all really can get in touch with each other and really make these fights you get what i'm saying the more the more as time goes on man you, you just start to understand this boxing game a little bit different man and that's a very good sign the fact that y'all get on the phone and talk about making a fight that y'all both need in terms of y'all both need names on y'all resume Y'all fights need to count. You get what I'm saying? Y'all fights need to really count. And y'all need each other more than y'all ever did. I said this before. He ain't want to bet that 20K with EJ, though. Nah, B-Dog. He ain't, ain't trying to lose at all. He already know. He already know, man. But look, they about to ask him, do we feel like, you know, he need a warm-up or something like that? Do you, need, do you need a fight to knock off the bus first or you get straight into Andrew? Huh? Do you need a, a, a fight to knock off the bus first? I'll go straight into it. Straight into it. Straight into it. Man, I'm going to just stop it again. Look, y'all. He said straight to it. This is out his mouth. I've been advocating for him getting a tune-up fight because he need to get back acclimated to the sport. But if he going to sit here and say uh, he don't need no tune-up fight, he want to go straight to it. Then we just got to hold him to that. That's what he said. We didn't make him say that. You know what I'm saying? That's what he said. So look, that's a tough, that's a tough task to be coming off this long of a layoff and you go get in there with an Andre. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You damn sure not gonna be your best coming off a pretty much two year layoff. You're not. That's in K. Why I had another 20. I'm telling you, you're gonna be sick. These fighters reaching out to each other. You feel me, B dog? Instead of allowing the media to to be the middleman to 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 staring up the beef. You know what I'm saying? Like, get that out of here, man. When y'all could get on the phone with each other if y'all really want to make these fights. And that that that's setting the bar in a weird way. Like, you know what I mean? That's letting you know that shit could really happen. Like, you can make stuff happen. It's just again, it's about making the right calls, speaking to the right people, having the right conversation so you in return you can get the right results. You get what I'm saying? And that and that that's 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 a good sign right there. Anytime two fighters can reach out to each other and have a, a meaningful conversation. If you talk for an hour at least, you damn sure had to be talking about something for y'all to be on the phone like that. The tank was hanging with A B one of those two or saying shows oh yeah they had said that too Laura said facts they did. They did. I remember that. That should set it off too. Flossy Sports TV was good with it. Flossy said, "Yo, what you miss?" Um, not not much, bro. This is just a little early morning build. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was talking about the get the gambling that Ryan doing, and if history re gonna repeat itself, because you seen you seen um Keith Thurman running around gambling, right? And you see what that caused for him. You know what I'm saying? He ended up suffering his first loss, and my thing is. You know, with or without the gambling, I feel like Ryan was going to lose anyway. But just to see him gambling and really being excited and hyped up, it seemed like he enjoying himself too much before the fight. Too much before the fight. And I think he's just going to gonna get himself hurt. It's going to be bad. I'm a big fan of both Charles, but I honestly don't see him getting straight to any real action. That's what I'm saying. All West is like, you saying it, but. More than likely, that's not what's going to happen. Right feet. 
right? Except for Beaver. <laughs> God self, salute fam. Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling, bro? Salute to you. But yeah, man, let's play this. He said straight to it though, y'all. So he claiming he don't need no tune up, okay? Oh, he called me the other day. He's talked for like an hour about you know just trying to get this shit done. Like yeah, you like it? I, yeah. So y'all heard it first. Do you, need, do you need a fight to knock off the bus first? Do you need a straight into it? Huh? Do you need a, a, a fight to knock straight into it? Straight into it. Straight into it, it yeah. So he said he might. It's a it's a wicked ass left hook though, you know. Do you feel like this all we got? It's not all. It's a wicked ass left hook. Yeah, for those for inferior competition or. Guys, that's allowing him to hit him, hit him with it and, and don't see it. Let's talk about the left hooks that he get hit with. Let's talk about them left hooks that he get hit with. You get what I'm saying? You think he got a wicked left hook? Tank got a wicked left hook in both. You know what I mean? That's the that's the difference, bro. I'm getting no tune up, y'all. I heard it from him. <laughs> yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. Uh, fate and I, I hear it's gonna still be Selecki, so. We'll see, because he's talking it. But I don't even think it would be smart to go fight Andre off almost a two-year layoff. I just don't think so. Nah, I ain't catch it. Oh, yeah. Ryan, Ryan got to throw that right hand a lot. You see how... My bad, Jack. They oh, out here cool, doing cool, right. something. Yeah, hit here, here doing some work. I hope it ain't mess, messing my my joint up. Now, I didn't see how much you look drained. Suit to my baby girl for the questions, man. Having some questions on that. Tay D, what's happening with it, Brody? How you feeling, bro? Appreciate you stopping through. I had to pause this for a second. Y'all was acting crazy. So um, it's way in. Damn. I was still crying about this fight. It's a week and everybody ducking down. <laughs> yeah, right. JD, you already know it, bro. What if, what if he dog Andre don't make the fight? You're right, right, Rick. Look, because look, Rick, I'm with it. Once he said that, I'm like, look, now my train of thought changes because now we're going to go with what he said. He said he don't need no tune up. He can get straight to it. After two years, it's a tall order. But hey, let's do it. Do it, bro. Everybody want to give Ryan advice on how to be tank. I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's crazy. Bones literally could do any way in. Or just rock them off, especially. Damn, I'm going to check that out for you. I'm going to check it out. I'm definitely going to check it out. I mean, right here, he bumped the, the softball, bone over for the right hand. It's boxing, you know. Uh, who has, the, the stronger man gonna win? It, so you can win this fight. Our power could be a, a sense of this fight. We don't know. You know, it is what it is. We'll figure it out. We'll okay. figure it out. Oh man, I'm doing better, way better. Sorry, I've been off. I had to get myself better, man. Like everybody, don't worry, dog. It makes you seem soft, whatever. Now I have to heal myself up. Like as a man gets stronger, like I learned. You know what I mean? I took some time away, and, and um, it's alright. I'm back. Thank you. Go 49ers. Go 49ers, baby. Yeah, I respect that for sure. I respect that, Ma. I respect that. I respect it. Hey, man, but we going to hold you to it, bro. We just going to hold you to it. You said you want to smoke. Said you don't need no tune-up. Hey, I'm all, I'm all for it. If you don't need it, I definitely don't need it, bro. I definitely don't need it. And, and like I said, they need each other more now than they ever did. Inactivity, injuries, weak opponents, uh, fights falling out. Get what I'm saying? Being out of sight, out of mind. New weight class for in Boo Boo's case, and you know, Charlo been flirting with the idea of going up to 68. So they got mad stuff in common. I think they need each other now more than ever, yo. And it makes it makes all the sense in the world. They both still undefeated. I don't care what nobody think. I think that's a fight that makes sense. You get what I'm saying? 
We do this every big fight. The closer it gets to the fight, the more chances Ryan or the underdog gets. Tank going to destroy this kid. Talk to him, Rick. Talk to him. And he out here gambling, Rick. He out here gambling. Uh, rock him off, uh, TD, if I'm saying it right. Rock him off. Yeah, I believe he's undefeated. I think he's fighting a good opponent, if I'm not mistaken. These guys are getting younger. Absolutely. Um, and, and Rick, and just to add to your point, um, in one of the interviews, one of the more recent interviews where D Demetrius Andre did an interview, that's exactly what he said, bro. He said, yo, um, I ain't getting no younger, so we got to make these fights now. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that means bigger and better fights for him and the rest of these guys from here on out because it's, it's, it's apparent that none of these run-of-the-mill guys are going to be able to do anything with, with Andre nor Charlo, right? Other than try to be competitive. But uh, other than that, no run-of-the-mill guys are going to beat these two dudes. So it's time for them to fight guys that's equal to and comparable to their skill level. You get what I'm saying? Meaning each other. There's no reason why they shouldn't be fighting. I can't come up with one reason why. You know what I mean? Cordina. Yeah, Cordina and, and uh, Rockamoff. He said, who is Cordina even fighting? Cord yeah, rock them all if I'm saying it right. I'm listening to Bluetooth, that's what I was going to say. Right, right, though. Our West, they not, though. Dudes ain't getting on young ass Cordina's belt. The guy has. If they strip Cordina, I expect Cordina to get his guy and take his belt back. Nah, I could, I, I could see that. I could see that, Teach. I could see it. I mean, I am picking him to win. Let's see if he got what it take to beat this dude. Charles and Ryan be bonding on that mental health stuff, and then Charles want to beat from Cali so bad. <laughs> He's stupid, bro. <laughs> J.A. Dixon, what's good, family? How you feeling? Yeah, it's a good fight. He's doing the day so you can catch it just right. Yeah, y'all know me. I don't mind calling the fights. I don't mind calling it. You know what I'm saying? From here, I don't mind calling that. I call it. Hey, it's boxing, right? Cordina is a solid fighter. He was running his mouth a little bit. So I, I want to see how he performed. He coming off the, one of the best knockout wins of his career. So let's see how he, um, let's see how he respond. You know what I mean? Coming off an injury as well. He got stripped. Let's see if it's any, you know, if it lit a fire up under him, being that he got stripped. And it's crazy, they stripped him fast because of the injury. I don't think they should have did him like that, but they did. Cordina said, he wanted Shakur, so I want to see how he looking. He, he, he's thinking the same way I'm thinking, Fate. Dean and Foster are probably the top two at 130. Right, and Hector Garcia. To teach, I think Hector Garcia, one of the top guys at 130. Remember, he still got his belt, too. So I think he, uh, yeah, right, Rick. They ain't giving no time, man. They ain't giving no time. They stripped him immediately, bro. Immediately. Like, they ain't waste no time playing with Cordina. That man got injured. And they say, yeah, you, yeah, you don't, yeah, we're going we gonna to go ahead and take this belt real quick up off you. Know what I'm saying and make you fight for it back instead of it being a title defense, you was a title fight and you fighting for your title back and you fighting a quality, uh, credible opponent, should I say, too? So, it ain't no gimme for sure, but I think he can win this fight. But they snatched that, they snatched that thing ASAP. And cut that check. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, right, 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 <clears throat> right. Mm -hmm. And cut that check. So they 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 took that down. Mm -hmm. Man, yeah, let us get this up off you. We know you ain't losing in the ring, but we're gonna get this up off you anyway. 
Like Amon was the one we thought was going to lose to the dude in the purple trunks, and we got that last minute stoppage. He got a chin. Right, he do. Tang her Hector boy had him man blind. <laughs> he did, right? That's why I say he had him legally blind, temporary blindness, short term memory loss, <laughs> everything, bro. He and an instant migraine, all with a matter of like three punches. Tank did that. That, that was crazy. Oh, I say he 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 wild the way he be doing these dudes. Let me see something. Man, I'm telling you, man. Man, now the other Garcia is up. He up at bat. He's up at bat. That's all he relying on. It's a hook. That's all. That's all he relying on. Uh, relying on. It's a hook. That, no defense. No nothing. No footwork. No nut. No head movement. He don't have no head movement. No nothing. He don't have nothing. That's, That's the most head movement, movement you're gonna see. Yeah. Get him out of here. He don't have no head movement. No nothing. Look, the head movement he right nothing. there. Yeah. Talk about That's all he relying on. It's a hook. That's all. Look, you got head movement right no, there. Relying on it's a hook. That, no defense, no nothing, no footwork, no nut, no head movement. He don't have no head movement, no nothing. He don't have nothing. Talking about he's a man. Get this, get him out of here. Man, facts, now nah, yeah, fa facts. Uh, Rick, he refused, didn't he? He beat, he beat, beat he mentally beat that knockdown. He did not want to go down, bro. He did not. Find an instant migraine, yeah. <laughs> nah, <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, yo, temporary blindness. Legally, he was legally blind. You know what I'm saying? Instant migraine and short term memory loss. And reason why I said that because he ain't even know if he got knocked out. So think about it. For a dude not to get dropped, and he felt like he was knocked out when he went over there to the corner. That's crazy. That's a different type of power, yo. He he really thought he got knocked out. The man ain't even dropped, boy. That was crazy. That's why he was like, I can't see. I ain't going back out there. Come on, I'll be telling him to stop him. Man, I got you, fate. I got you. I'm picking Cordina, too. Those tent giving, giving him pointers. I'm telling you. I'm so deep in some of them, I think it's too late because of how he fighting tank to improve on that right yeah i'm telling you uh <laughs> telling you shower yeah i'm swole look how he's sitting that's there, all though. he relying on it's a hook that's all that's all he wearing on uh, i'm relying on it's a hook that no defense no nothing no footwork no nothing no head movement he don't have no head movement no nothing no nothing he don't have nothing <laughs> No nothing. Talk you don't have nothing. Couple, man, get this. Get him out of here. Get, get man, get this man. Get him out of here now. For real. Get him out of here. He'll take what Dad says. No, though Hector got his face smashed and the car played a part in it. Ruined the whole momentum. Man, it, arguably it did. And it I think the fight in the crowd turned tank up too, teach, because after that he really went and got Hector as he went to get him. This is, yo, facts, Rick, what happened? I get knocked out. It was like, nah, nah, nah. But you could you like, yeah, and I can't see. <laughs> Man, I can't see. Yeah, Ryan was talking. Ryan was talking his trash. It's fun, man. This is fun. This is entertainment. That's why I be pulling up these little clips, y'all. It'd be funny. They be going in on each other, man. They do. These two dudes don't like each other for nothing. They like to carry Ryan out of there. I'm telling you. Ain't nobody playing but you. <laughs> man, get this man. Yo, facts be though. Man, get this dude out of here, man. Get him out of here. Tank Dad says he need these dudes out of boxing. They're going to pick him up, carry this man up out of there. It's on virtual live shit yesterday. I'm telling you. And then they talking about Tank look nervous. They getting nervous energy from where? How are you getting nervous energy? Because he bit his nails? Everybody do that. Like, what? 
I might figure Andrew in the fight. Say my shoulder best up. Tell you, bro. So, uh, catch it though. You can see a clip trying to teach him how to keep his hand up. He couldn't. His coach is like, why are you dropping? He's like, I'm trying. Like, he was complaining. Yeah. 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 Because it's just a bad habit, yo. At this point, Fate, it's a bad habit. What hallway you at? In the blink of an eye. You're finished. Yeah, then you're okay. going to have a lot to think about. Trust me. Make sure you've been practicing on keeping your hands up. Do that. Oh, you Make haven't sure watched you your tape, brother. No, you, you gotta watch. You haven't watched your tape. You talk about hands up. All right. You 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 delusional right. about your defense. Trust me, right. man. Gamboa had you bruised up. Can you look at the right. truth for once? Damn. No, didn't. You are real right. delusional, Ger man. Javante, this Stop is the this is probably the first time you faced Gamboa a guy shit. who has been extreme. Don't get me wrong. You faced guys who felt like, hey, like I can beat Tank, but this is a guy. It seems like a believes it, speaking it. And wants to show it. I think you kind of. He, he don't have the fundamentals. Neither, at all. Right. Neither bro. If, 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 if uh, Joe Goosen was so so much of a, a, a great trainer, fix his, his fundamentals. This guy don't have no fundamental at all. Mm -hmm. All he's relying on is a weak ass hook. That's it. <laughs> yeah, take, take crazy, yo. Yeah. Take crazy. He said that's all you relying on is a weak ass hook. If, that's it. Uh, Joe Goosen was so so much of a, a a great trainer. Fix his his fundamentals. This guy, guy don't have no fundamental at all. All he's right. relying on is a weak ass hook. That's it. <laughs> what kind of hook tank? <laughs> Riley Lane was expert. You too, man. B dog. It be pissing me off, bro. And they be reaching, yo. They be reaching so bad, yo. You know this man. This man relishes the moment. He he been here before. Why would he be all nervous like that? You get what I'm saying? It's Ryan Garcia first time here, and you could kind of tell. You just looking. You have to ask yourself, which one of these guys was it they first time doing this? I know Ryan is talking, so he is doing pretty good at probably trying to, you know, hold his ground. He talking this stuff, right? But come on, man. If you really asking yourself who look like it's their first, first rodeo, it's Ryan. Clearly, it's not Tank. People just be reaching, bro. Bad for turning pro surprise that we told him that. Is that who coached him? You know it. We ain't doing it either. You collaborate with Ryan, right? You get what I'm saying? Get what I'm saying? You collaborate with him, Rick. You don't, you don't teach him. You collaborate with him. Here we go. Right here. You don't necessarily train Ryan Garcia. You have to collaborate with him because he has, he has his ideas and thoughts, and they ring true ninety nine percent of the time. What the hell are you talking? You, you out here collaborating with him? Okay. Must ain't seen his Instagram. He don't really need you as a collaboration, bro. Not on IG, don't. Facts, Jay. That's that personal stuff, Jay, that I be talking about, bro. Talk to him. Shawi was definitely digging his own grave yesterday. Thanks for training, Ryan. I was supposed to be like, show, show me a degree, bozo, or don't say nothing. <laughs> right. Be the champ. I'm the champ. You don't like it. Why well, I like it. My jaw. <laughs> Break your jaw with a hook. You don't care, I guess. <laughs> we'll still take Jock after this fight. Go be the president of the GTD fan club. He loved him some tank, bro. Sat up there and lied yesterday. Right. He did. It pains like his facts and then comment in the comments. It's annoying. All facts, bro. They first day of school. <laughs> See them. What hallway you at? A blink of an eye. You're finished. Yeah, then okay. you're gonna have a lot to think about. Trust me. Josh, Make sure you've been practicing on keeping your hands up. Do that. Oh, you Make haven't sure watched you your tape, brother. No, you, you gotta watch. You haven't watched your tape. If you talk about hands up. All right. You 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 delusional right. about your defense. Trust me, right. man. Gamboa had you bruised up. Can you look at the Man. truth for once? Damn. What? You are real Stop delusional, it. man. Javante, this, is, this is probably the first time you faced a guy who has been extreme. Don't get me wrong. You faced guys who felt like, hey, like I can beat Tank. But this is a guy who seems like, A, believes it, speaking it, and wants to show it. I think you kind of... 
he this, don't he don't have the fundamentals at all. If 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 uh, Joe Goosen was so so much of a, a a great trainer, fix his his fundamentals. This guy don't have no fundamental at all. All he's relying on is a weak ass hook. That's it. All we lying on is a weak ass hook. That's it. That's it. Tell him, Tank. That that hook ain't gonna cut it, bro. That hook ain't gonna <laughs> cut it. That hook ain't gonna cut it. It's gonna get ugly fast. I'm telling you, bro. Danny Best, salute fan. I'm playing they playing every hydrate and claws are built in excuse. Facts, Danny. You know what it is. Appreciate you pulling up. How you feeling, bro? Salute to everybody in the building. Y'all smash that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. This is just a little early cook, man, for today, man. And we will be back, like I said, at our time at four o'clock. With 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 the chant with the future world champion Shadeja Green because she gonna be a champion. Trust me, trust me, Jim, my bro. Much love and appreciation, bro. How you feeling today? Appreciate you stopping through. He's not getting up, Jim. He's not getting up. <laughs> Picture that, man. Wait till Ryan takes that night quail uppercut. Yeah, that Nyquil uppercut gonna be bad for him, Josh. Bad. That melatonin movie and the Nyquil nightmare that's gonna be playing while he sleep. Dang. Same thing we've been saying, Ryan. Zero true skill. I'm telling you, man. Like I sitting up there, like I wonder if he's gonna be my friend after though. <laughs> you know it. You know it. You know it, yo. You know it, man. You know it. Floyd versus Corrales, bro. People gonna be talking bad about Ryan. I'm telling you, Williams and Pay to fight in zone. Let's see who he fight. I know he's gonna fight a lesser opponent. Fate these dudes be ducking. I mean, smizzle. they always talk. They're talking about, you know, I want to punish him. This man's never punished anybody in his life, man. This man's always losing. You don't punish nobody. So get that out of your delusional mind, bro. Right. You're not gonna punish. He said he always losing. This man's never punished anybody in his life, man. This man's always losing. You don't punish nobody. So get that out of your delusional mind, bro. You're not going to punish me in no way, no chance. You're going to get punished. You got the lowest punch output in boxing right now. You understand that you're not punishing nobody. I'm the most accurate, too. That's fine. Don't but you're not that. punishing nobody. I'm the most nobody. accurate, too. You're not punishing nobody, though. I'm the most accurate, so get that too. out of your mind. Live, he you walked into the wrong people. guy right here. He just don't Things need you got to wait with before they're catching to up to you. This is the moment where everything catches up for you in every way. Trust me. Trust me. In every you're way, saying, everything's saying, catching up to you saying, Saturday what? night. Saturday right, night, everything. Your whole right. career is going to come to a halt. Not, not finished. You'll be man, able to come back a, a good man. <laughs> but trust me, everything comes to a halt on Saturday night. Okay. Finished. Okay. You're going to learn the hard right. way. Okay. You, you don't see what it, but you're going to learn the hard way. The hard way is coming to you real quick. Man, yeah, he was he was going for it, wasn't he? Yeah, he got a date announced. Okay. Yep, I knew it. You already know, Shari. So I knew it was gonna be a lesser opponent. Tinker is the most accurate talking about him throw. He don't need to throw a lot of punches. I'm talking about <laughs> like that matters, so accuracy matters, especially when you're hitting that hard. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, Jay. You get cut. He gonna, he gonna be ready to pack it in. That's another thing that I could see happening too. A cut, man. I'm telling you, he's an ax hacker. Facts, Omega. The game for everybody to get woke up then put to sleep. I'm telling you, facts, be dog. That's ridiculous. That's why another reason why he get knockouts outside of the fact that he punched that hard. Is that how accurate he is? And when you land damn near 50%, 46% of your power shots, especially in that hard, you usually probably more than likely going to get a knockout. Then he's back at the waist, so his body shots might be brutal. Oh, I'm telling you. Talk your talk now. All right, Grind Hard Sports Nation was good, family. Felt like biting my nails, right? <laughs> End game soon, right? Me too. I like it. Omega is fun. Got the most KOs too, right? Buckle up, box and talk. Salute, family. Appreciate you pulling up. Said uh, Ryan look pretty confident, bro. Yeah, he do. He talking. It, it, it's it's fun to watch, right? It's entertaining to me. I like it. Talk your talk and walk the walk. You know what I'm saying. 
You know, the undefeated fighters, man, they do that, man. Frank will really be standing on business if they give him a, uh, a pay to fight. And he pull it off. Shoot. Yeah, but anybody Garcia is delusional. Yeah, I'm telling you, Danny, yo, his dude right here, Garcia, is funny. That's why I learned to laugh at him. Well, I'm definitely about his business for this fight. Yeah, um, buckle up. He said he had two feet um on the ground in terms of wanting to make this fight. You know what I'm saying? He was hell bent on making this fight. He wanted it, from what I hear, right? Um, I just think like like I've been saying all week, yo, that the, that lack of commitment is going to show up. You get what I'm saying? That that five minute media workout that you did going to show up. You get what I'm saying? The fact that you have your chin in the air is going to show up. It's a lot of flaws and things on his end that's going to, I think, present themselves in different phases of the fight, which will allow Tank to be successful, man. He got a, you know, Ryan Garcia got an uphill battle. He can feel as comfortable as he want because he's tall. Whatever he fight, he's fast and strong, but Tank different. 36 hours to <laughs> talk to him. <laughs> Shit, we could be like this, right? For this kind of bread, right? Right, Rick? <laughs> well, he was confident too. <laughs> That's how was that. Wasn't he dead? He was telling you about anything or Roly, right? Yeah, the Jimmy first. He won the British title recently at 41. He went pro at 36 and started boxing at 29. It's crazy. Nah. Don't know if he's going, which is making fighters learn faster. Find methods on how to grow in boxing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's real, because the game always got to be elevated, right? They want to get a KO. Really fight. The press conference will be crazy. <laughs> Dante Hall Boxing Talk. What's good, family? Yeah, I mean, look. You know, that was to happen. That Roly, that Roly and... um. Ruli and Ryan Garcia fight to happen. That'd be crazy. I wonder would Ryan Garcia be comfortable doing that? Cause uh, we look very uncomfortable here, bro. We did not enjoy this. Uh, one bit. I don't know if we want to get back on the road. Here after not roll you out. Look how you tag tagging him, man. Look. Look, he's holding on. He don't even know what to do. Look, caught him again. Body shots. Caught over the top. Look. Roll you punishing him. Say what you want, man. Roly was putting fist cuffs on that man. He's putting all leather all over him, bro. Man, he's putting hands on that man. Roly versus Ryan Garcia is, is interesting. Now it is, yo. They will get dropped. That'll be the money's worth. Right, absolutely it will. Ryan can't fight on the inside. Nope. Nope, Rick. No inside game. No inside game. None. Mm-mm. I don't got no inside game. Come on, do these out. Kel, what's good with it, Kel? How you feeling, fam? I can see, I can see this fight happening next. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad at that. See about this, this fight, bro. Roy Jones. You said by what which fight, uh, <clears throat> D man? Make past six rounds and say he better than Roly. <laughs> Roly a rough as WWE boxer, right? He the MMA street fighter boxer. He trying that love hook. I'm telling you, and he was timing that. He was walking right through it. He was walking right through it, bro. I'm telling you, Jim. Watch. He can close that gap. You talking about come in on me? Come in on me. Try it. Try it. Try to come in on me. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like actual fights. I'm telling you, man. He, he don't, right? 
But he is rough, though. He is rough. Kirk Douglas, what's, what's good with it, Kirk? How you feeling, bro? Can you got to inspire with it's no cool. Ryan got that experience, lazy ass. I'm telling you. Telling y'all it's gonna be ugly than uh, uh, <laughs> ugly than uh, Esther really rather sloppy to me. Yeah, yeah, he's a little wild, bro. You know, buckle up. He definitely wild, but that's what make him dangerous, right? A little wild and unorthodox the way he throw his shots and the way he be loading up sometimes. Just unorthodox and it could catch you off guard. And he a little dirty in there too. Sparky careless. careless, but he don't be rushing no more. Yeah, man. <laughs> that PTSD is real. You know what I'm saying? With Tank, Tank closing it, you know, shutting his lights out like that, man. Shutting his damn lights out, man. He shut his lights all the way out. Facts, Rick, awkward and dirty, bro. Awkward and dirty. Very awkward and dirty, bro. And you rough as hell, you be be on some street fighter types type deal. I wanted to pull something else up too, y'all. Man, um, something else. This was gonna be a little light cook too, y'all. Um something else I seen that I wanted to uh talk to y'all about. Did y'all see how wild they're looking right now, man? I know this is only, you know, working out and pad work and things like that, but nah, bro. Wilder, Wilder and Malik Scott. Malik Scott is a mad scientist in there with Wilder, bro. Like he Malik Scott really a mad scientist. People can say what you want. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. This dog don't need to be taught a whole bunch of tricks. He already liked that. You get what I'm saying? This dog already like that. He just sharpening them tools that's already in the shed. He dusting off and sharpening the tools that's already in the shed. This dude look very dangerous, and I'm just excited for his next fight, whoever he getting there with. Because Wilder is just, look, man, he's looking to be the best version of himself right now. And I just couldn't appreciate it more from a um, supporter standpoint, like, this is dope right here, man. Well, Wilder, bro. We'll see how they're looking in this scale. This man was saying I'm not be fast as strong as these guys, but I'm trying to be smarter. I'm too fast and you got pop. What you mean? <laughs> oh, Ingram. Ingram, my bad. Pardon me. Ingram was saying I might not be as fast as strong as these guys, but I'm definitely trying try to be smarter. Like, like, what? You fast and you got pop. What you mean? Yeah, he do. He do. He do. I like the humble approach, though. But he is on, on the game streets of rage. Roly was real. Yo, remember that Omega? That was a classic, bro. Streets of rage. Man, that was a, that was a classic, bro. I right, cool going right now because of Malik. That's what I feel like. Fate. I feel like, and you know, they say that heavyweights age differently, so he ain't gotta learn a bunch of new tricks, as they're calling them. But he can sharpen some things and, and pay attention to detail. Fundamentally, fundamentals and, and things like that being technically sound, like and sharpen up. Like he don't need tons of changes. He needs small tweaks and, and corrections and things like that to make him more dangerous. Like you get what I'm saying? People feel like he need no. You don't. He don't need to reinvent himself. He don't need to be this whole new boxer all of a sudden. No, he don't need to switch his style up. All no. He just it's approach and attention to detail. Little nuances of the other of the of the fight game that him and Malik Scott are working on as a team. And I think it's gonna pay dividends. I think Wilder is gonna continue to be very, very dangerous. And I think if he's able to implement, you know, 10% of what they're working on, 15, anything like that, percent of what they're working on in the gym, that makes Wilder how much more dangerous. You get what I'm saying? So this is just special to watch. I love seeing it, bro. I love seeing it. Yo, yeah, Omega, that classic, bro. Streets of Rage. That, remember Golden Axe? That was that joint, too. And Double Dragon, of course. Big Baby Jared Anderson about to take over the heavyweight division, bro. Wow, then Joshua time is up. They would come gatekeeper over the next few years. I don't think it's like that, right? But I think, um, you know, Jared Anderson got a little while before he get where, you know, 
within the arms reach of these dudes respectfully, you know, timing and things like that. So I think while he's still ascending and climbing and making his way through the ranks, I think Wilder got business to take care of right now. You get what I'm saying? In the next few years, who knows? He could be out of boxing. You get what I'm trying to say? So the timing of it, it, it could line up perfectly. You know what I mean? Wilder, this next run for Wilder, I think it's going to be a serious run. Like, you know what I mean? In terms of, you know, these next, you know, till he retire, I think he's going to try to make each and every one of these fights count from here on out. And I think he can do some damage and make a run at a heavyweight title again. And, uh, you know, by that time, Jared Anderson will be on his way up to do some things. I'm telling you, D-Man, he looking to smoke something. Get his head off the line before he moves up. Absolutely, because right now, Right now, it, that wouldn't be the fight. People would think so. That wouldn't be the fight for him to take. Not right now. I don't know 13 joints. But look at this, man. So it's like you're reaching and teaching. Look at these yeah. dudes, man. Salute to Malik Scott and Deontay. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's called the education jab. Uh -huh. Show me. Right buckle up. Salute to you, bro. Appreciate you stopping. Y'all smash the like button, sub to the channel, share the live if you can. And y'all stay tuned. Like I said, we'll be back at 4 o'clock. Yeah. This was the bonus live. Wanted to come build a little real quick. Man. It's repetition, man. It's repetition at the end of the day. Repetition and constantly putting in that work, man. Putting in the right work. Dog work. You know what I'm saying? Um excuse me. Yeah, it ain't it, it, for Wilder right now, it ain't just about working hard, it's about working smart. You get what I'm saying? And um that's exactly what they're doing. What's this on IG? Yeah, yeah, Tay D. If you go look at um Malik Scott IG, it's up there. Might be on Wilders too. But uh I, I snatched this off Malik Scott. Salute them Malik Scott. I snatched this off of his joint. I just like the way Wilder looking sharp, attention to detail. He's more remember, people was trying to say he's not coachable, right? What is this? What is this? What is him and Malik? Look how ha he's happy to learn. Yeah, I'm bigging this up. I don't care. He ain't got to beat nobody up right now uh -huh. at this point. I'm, I'm happy to see this. I'm happy to see you. This man is happy to learn, y'all. They sitting there, sitting up here talking about he wasn't coachable. Get the hell out of here with y'all false narratives, bro. He can't box. He, nah, nah, nah. He's just the right man. Shut up. I don't want to hear none of that garbage, man. He ain't coachable. What is him and Malik Scott doing? What he got up here? Systemizing. Child ass is on, man. And he, if he able to implement 10% of what they're working on, he's smoking everybody. I'm telling you, that's my honest opinion. Smoking them all, and the size that he at, that that light on his feet. Forget about it, man. Talk talk all you want. You're gonna have to earn it, bro. You're gonna have to earn it. Keep talking about uh, Tyson Fury took a lot out of him. Yeah, shut up, man. He back. He back. He is the heavyweight division. I don't care what y'all talking about. He the heavyweight division, bro. It's it's exciting when he fight. Don't matter who he fight. Cause he's sparking shit, you know what I'm saying? And you know he don't duck nobody, so that kills me. How you can't appreciate a guy that had ten title defenses and never ducked nobody? He only promised his daughter he'd be champion and change their lives. He 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 fulfilled that promise ten times over, bro. Ortiz beat just recently got a KO win. Wow, that's crazy, Jay. I got I got to go see. I, I mean, fake. I gotta go see who he uh fought. The yeah, Andre Ward special showtime is gone. Nah, I ain't catch it, Jay. Damn, appreciate that, man. I'm gonna check it out. 
I'm gonna check it out. But it, it, and again, man, I, I he ain't fighting nobody right now. I don't know exactly what's going on. I don't give a damn. You really rock with him, and this don't get you kind of like excited a little bit, man. I don't know. I don't know. For me, it do. It's called the education. Me, it do. Talking about he ain't coachable. Shut that asses up, man. Like that should really be annoying. Nah, he can't box. I don't want to hear that. You can't. Bo- you can't beat him. My my can't box. You get in there and then you get in there with him. And then after after you after you take your nap, if you make it out of that, you, you come and tell me if you think you can buy. I hate that, man. It be us, it be our people pushing these narratives. Come on, somebody can box. You ain't coachable. You can't teach your old dog new tricks. You ain't gotta teach him no new tricks. You just polish what he already got in the shed, man. I'ma keep saying that. Y'all know my 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 thoughts and feelings towards towards the wilder haters, bro. I hate it, man. I really do. Attention to detail. If he able to implement 10% of this, he's smoking the shit out of everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a little movie. I'm telling you, man, I don't know how you can't. You gotta be miserable being a hater, bro, when you could just get him at his credit. Jim, you say can't wait to see KO Fury. I'm telling you, big cheat, bump. Pac Man, ETL, Tay, what's going on with it, bro? Appreciate you sliding through. How you feeling? Little hands. Cancel the KO win. Yeah, I don't know how he got that, right? That's crazy. Call SOG Book of War. Ah, oh, that sounds dope. Okay, I gotta check it out. Is it done already? Three chapters closed right now. Yeah, I know what Jim coming from now. Get it back in blood, big cheating, big cheating, goofy. But again, man, I'm always um excited to see uh Wilder, man. Any facet. And again, in this video, he looked happy to be learning, bro. So all that he ain't coachable stuff, that's another bullshit narrative that people push because they don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Just want to find a way to hate. Ah, he can't box. I ain't just got the right hand. You get in there with him. You get in there with him. You get in there with him. And then after you go to sleep, when you wake up, go get your dad. Go get your daddy because after your daddy sees his baby boy get get, get the, the life punched out of him, he going to want smoke. Get your dad to get in there with him after he knock his ass out. And he wake up, then both of y'all could go maybe find y'all favorite heavyweight and tell them to get in there with him since he can't box. I hate that. I really do. I don't care who you are, how long you've been watching boxing and what you're trying to say. That shit sound irresponsible and dumb every time somebody push it, yo. Every single time, bro. Showtime to show the trailer. Right, I got to still try. I want to check it out. That sound dope. So, again, man, salute the Bomb Squad and Malik Scott, man. Oh, in that lab cooking up, man, like the mad scientist that he is, man. I mean, it, it, people so focused on him trying to reinvent himself. He don't got to reinvent himself. Not for these dudes. He already dangerous as hell, just how he is now. Adding anything else, sharpening up anything else, you know, sharpening those same tools that he already had in the shed and bringing them out, uh, whatever. You tell me tell me what you want. He's going to be dangerous and a lot harder to beat. He light on his feet. Worst thing you could do a dude, and he could box off the back foot for the people that don't be paying attention. One of his best knockouts came off the back foot. He flat that same dude, I think, got stretched up out of there off the spill. Go look at that fight, y'all, if y'all never seen it. He stretched that man going backwards. And he and then off the spill was laid up in the ring with his damn legs crossed like he was taking a nap for real, for real. He was asleep. Salute to everybody in the building. We're going to cook for a little while longer, man. JJ, salute, fam. I don't know why I act like knockouts just happen. Man, they have to be set up. And that's the skill in and of itself. And you don't get lucky 40-plus times, bro. You don't get lucky 40-plus times. You don't get lucky 40-plus times with you goofy-ass people, man. I, t- I tell you, man, people just be saying anything, yo, anything. Boy, he sent, he sent Spilka to the Twilight Zone. What the hell with the sunken place? They sent that man to the Twilight Zone, to the outer limits somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Boy, seen darkness. Then he had the audacity to get stretched, I believe, gurneyed up out of there, I, I think it was. The man had a neck brace on, then going to wake up, talking about 
him punch hard. Yeah, I bet you, you I'm pretty sure you didn't feel that because as soon as it connected, you were asleep. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you probably didn't feel it. Pretty sure you didn't feel the punch. Pretty sure. Your lights went right out as soon as he touched you. You just disintegrated. Like, you know what I mean? Flatline. You know what I mean? Your ass was out there. I think it's your people's was out there crying. You ought to be more humble. Nigga, you could have, you couldn't make, you could have, could have been worse for you, bro. Stretch your dough ass up out of there. Right, right. Spilled the knockout was nasty. Yeah, man, we're going to cook on this last uh part, man. This last little topic, man. I'm going to let y'all up out of here. And like I said, y'all, y'all stay tuned, man. Want to see y'all back in the building at four o'clock. I'm going to have Shadeja Green on and we going to build, y'all. Y'all know how we do over here. Where he fell. Yeah, Spilka just woof, stretched his ass, man. You know, Scott, now he's a teacher. He's a great teacher. He like a teacher trainer. Teacher trainer. Tell him, man. Tell him, Dante, the price going up, too, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Your best resume in the heavyweights today, Spilka. And an out of body experience, like Dr. Strange facts, bro. He that de he definitely did. That bro separated from his consciousness, bro. <laughs> he almost separated from the existence of life for a minute, man. The way it was looking, bro. Well, let's get to this, man, real quick, man. My at least the greatest everywhere I've ever seen do it. His resume is crazy as far as opposition. That's why he the um goat, bro. Think is going to win the fight between Tank and Ryan. I think it's a good fight. Um I think Tank has experience, of course. Um, he's been in bigger fights. He's been he's much more proven. But I think Ryan is somebody you cannot sleep on. He has the, the size advantage. He has the 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 weight advantage. He's bigger. He's he's longer. Um, he has the speed, and I don't think that Ryan is coming to lay down. I don't think that the fight will be. He, a, a lot of people. It's it's easy to pick Tank to win. I don't think that Ryan is coming to lay down. I don't think that the fight will be. He, a, a lot of people, it's it's easy to pick Tank to win. That's a safe bet, of course, um, because he's just proving himself much more. But um, with a guy like Ryan, you, I don't think that you could sleep on him. I think it's gonna be a good fight. Uh, I see it going 12 rounds. A lot of people don't see it going 12, but um, I see, I see it being close. But I see Tank edging. Oh, really? Yeah, I see Tank edging. But I, if Ryan was to win, I wouldn't be surprised. So my, I just and, and and again I played that because I I for me it's not wrong everybody got their pain and it's not wrong with it right but I just don't I personally don't um uh, I don't understand how they feel like a guy that's more experienced proven and all of these things. If that's the guy you pick against so it's like what do y'all be, be, be basing y'all went like you know what i mean what are y'all basing the picks off like a guy that you like or the guy you just betting against the guy that you don't like you get what i'm saying like i y'all all saying that he's better he's proven he's more tested he has power this this and that but yet and still you're picking against him and i'm just just examining all people's logic y'all y'all making the case for why you should be betting for him or root or picking him to win, but then you you going in the opposite direction. You making a case that would make it sound like that's the guy to pick, but you're going the opposite direction. It don't make sense. I just heard somebody say that he was better, the better fighter, but they still, you know, Jamal Charlo just said that Tank is a better fighter, but he still he pick it Ryan. Like what? It just sounds weird. Sound a little weird, bro. BVO boxing was good with it, fam. Blessings to you, Brody. You beat Ruiz Sanchez, F.A. Big Baby, and Zane. Best resume to have. I'm telling you, man, that's that's a hell of a resume. Boy, mouthpiece disappeared in the crowd. I'm telling you, man, he's different. Riddick Bo was a hell of a fighter, too. Uh, buckle up. Ain't looking like a welterweight. He should be fighting boots. <laughs> mm, that would make the way he good. Even though it's sweet, even though champ knows Ryan's coming to stop tank. He don't know that. Yeah, you ain't you don't know that. He think it. I just don't I, I can't wait to I know you're gonna be here, boy. Don't do not disappear after this fight. I wants to see you one of the first people I wanna see. Ryan ain't much of a chance. Chance to stop hating on the fight. Hey Tay D, 
Now, it's another clip that I, I wanted to get to, but I ain't gonna get to. It. I probably um I revisit it when I come back later when, while I'm setting the table waiting for the champ to come. I'm gonna revisit that because he got another interview talking about this situation. And again, it's not nothing against Dev, right? I just want to know for the people that's calling it Dev, you know, Tank and Ryan an exhibition fight and saying y'all not buying the fight because of that, right? Or would y'all same people? call it an exhibition fight if Devin Haney's fighting and would you buy it or would you say you're not buying it because it's an exhibition I just want to know I want to know if the energy is the same because the reason I asked that he said if Ryan is able to pull off a win then he'll fight Ryan so my thing is would it then be an exhibition fight and would it be not worth y'all buying it for the people that be hating on tank everything you do this don't apply to everybody but that 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 logic makes no sense to me because I know, you know, for the people calling it an exhibition and saying they're not paying for it, they're not paying the money, whatever, they ain't going to watch it, whatever the case, those same people, if Devin Haney was fighting them, they'd buy it. What's the difference? And they, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be calling it an exhibition. See what I'm saying? It's like on one end, people are trying to shit on the fight. And then on the other end, you're saying you will fight the guy. So which one is it? Is it a, it's only so it's bad when Tank do it and it's cool when Devin Haney do it. So Haney fight him. All of a sudden it's the fight makes sense and it's not an exhibition. It's a real fight. Tank fight him, then it's just an exhibition. I just don't think that make a lot of sense. I don't at all. I don't know what the hell people be talking about. Right. And they're gonna learn the hard way. They're gonna keep learning the hard way. I'm dumb mentality. He just wants some excitement. They don't want to face Tank. Right. They don't. They don't. My bad, y'all. Let me let me let me speed up to the bottom. Salute to everybody in the building. Much love and appreciation to everybody in the building. The tank KO, I'm right. I'm sharp, dude. Devin called it an exhibition. Another in another breath. JD. And again, when we talk about this, I want to be very clear. This is, has nothing to do with trying to attack Devin in no way, shape, or form. We don't go at the individuals, we go at the, the logic or the argument. That's what we're attacking. The logic, not Devin Haney, just the logic of the fans of his y'all calling tank fight with Ryan an exhibition and saying y'all not buying it. But that same, the same guy that y'all discrediting and saying that he ain't worth y'all paying y'all money for y'all favorite fighter is saying he'll fight him. If he went, is it an exhibition still? Would you not pay your money? Get what I'm saying? I don't, I, don't, I just don't understand boxing fans. I, we, we got to a place where it's weird. If you truly a boxing supporter, why are we constantly crapping on fights? Y'all acting like this man didn't clout chase his name for years. He deserved to be knocked out, to be honest with you. Not even trying to be funny. We're running back later in the day. Thrill Hill, salute, Brody. Yeah, um, I got Shadeja Green in the building later on. But I'm going to come back and set the table for a little bit before she get here so we could kick it, talk some good boxing before she get here. So if y'all got some questions and stuff, man. Like I said, y'all just have them ready, and I'll try to get to them, and we're going to have us a good build. You know what I mean? He's a professional hitter. Just, yeah, it, sometimes it comes off a certain way. It comes off a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you saying a guy is a better, more proven, and tested fighter, but you're still saying it's a 50-50 fight. I don't think this fight 50-50, yeah. I don't. That shit's already worse than Spence and Buzz Saga. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Tay D is terrible already, and it's to say so much. They're younger, so it's like he's even dumber. As we see them pick against Floyd, right, Mr. Kyle? Salute to you, bro. Appreciate you pulling up. They always do it. The one kicking dumbass logic. Well, ain't on us. That's all we saying, Tay D. We just we attacking the, the weird logic of fanboys that don't apply to us, right? We not fanboys in here, but we just and and again, not even those fanboys are we attacking them. We just we attack the logic. That you know what I mean? The logic or the argument that people make, not the individual. You know what I'm saying? It's different. Long ago, people didn't want to call it, mix it up. Remember this T.O. and Loma are the only ones that fought and when Ryan Mando with Devin it was a good fight, right? You get it right, 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 right. See what I'm saying? Teach two power punches, fight, pick one with better defense that won't get hit as clean. I could feel that. When I gotta fight that next time to put this to bed, right, man? Right, yo, put it to bed once and for all. Just a bitter hater tank. Yeah. 
It's just the same thing with Rolly Gamboa and Gary wanted to fight Haney. It was all good. But when it came to Tank, there were BS fights except for Gary. Come on, Jay. All we doing is pointing out the double standards and the um, BS narratives that people be pushing and showing people. We, we're pointing out how certain people don't, don't keep the energy the same and they don't call it the way it needs to be called. But we it's cool because we got us. We going to do that. You know what I mean? Right. He said they on his hit list for sure, y'all. For sure. He's definitely on the hit list. But, man. Um, salute, to, salute to the fan, man. Y'all make sure y'all punch that like button, man. Tell had them notifications on, man. Share these lives, and Y'all. Yeah, man, I'll be back at four. You know, that time will be here fast, and we're going to build again. We're going to build some more, y'all. Damn sure we're going to keep building, man. We're going to keep this train going. And, again, just to touch up on this a little bit, um, Ryan Garcia, like I said, um, that gambling, you can do what you want in your personal life. I, I don't knock you for that, right? I'm not knocking you in no way, shape, or form. I'm just asking a question, posing a good question. Is history going to repeat itself Saturday night? Is he going to end up suffering his first defeat? And is he going to have this to blame for? Because while he should have been probably chilling, relaxing, or focused, you know what I mean? He was gambling. You get what I'm saying? And him and Charlo was gambling together, like best of buzz. So it's a little strange to to for your focus to be where it is in the biggest fight of your, your career. You get what I'm saying? The biggest fight of your life, this is what you choose to be doing. And it just throws you off a little bit, right? It throws you off a little bit. You're like, damn, bro, what's what you want? Opulent LD TV, what's good with the family? How you feeling? Appreciate you stopping through, man. Salute to everybody on this good Friday, man. And like I said, I will be back. I got to keep saying that. I will be back. This is just a bonus live because we love boxing over here, man. We love it. We embrace it. Like I said, I was going to talk about this fight all week. And Devin Haney's turn is coming up soon, and I'm going to be pushing and, 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 you know, talking his fight all week as well. But Ryan Garcia better focus up. Yeah. Man, BBL, man, let me address you directly. Yo. Stop making this, like, a personal. Stop, like, get the – throw your cape away for Ryan Garcia, bro. Like, it's a responsible way I'm doing this. And that's why I said I need you to listen. Stop coming in here like you got to keep protecting this dude. I be ignoring a lot of stuff you say. You be just going off in the chat. Stop making it seem like everything somebody say. We got to, well, 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 Tank did this because the last time you went below the belt and made it weird. Stop making it personal. It's not a personal, bro. Listen. Start listening, bro. Start listening. Y'all y'all got to stop doing that. And well, Nobody speaks on what Tank does. You, you starting to. Man, don't do not do that. We're talking about what he's doing right now in the moment, what he just did, bro. We're not making it the worst thing in the world. We're not crucifying him. Got to chill. I said I don't criticize what a grown man does in this time. He can gamble, but it's a fair question. Is he focused the way he need to be focused, bro? You keep coming in here with your cape on for this dude every day. I don't understand you, and you basing it off nothing. See what I'm saying? I be letting that ride. I like responsible comments and, and shit like that. I don't like somebody every time we say something, we got to go back and forth. Like, I don't do tit for tat. That's like, it's like childish. You get what I'm saying? Right now, Tank ain't gambling. Tank focus. Ain't I, focus. The kid is about focus. He, You heard me say he can gamble if he want to. I don't care about him gambling. He going to have to deal with it. The real question is, is he focused? Because if Tank was doing it, you'll be bringing that up. You definitely would. Just like you brought up some shit with a female some years ago. Like, that has nothing to do with nothing. That shows where your mind is at. Get your cape and, and throw it in the garbage, bro. You know what I mean? Ryan already think he's Superman. He don't need no super fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be realistic. We, I hate the tit for tat vibes. Like, if Tank was doing something right now and that's out of place, I'll be pointing it out, too. What is Tank doing? He locked in. It's a difference, bro. This dude is playing around. This is why I'm pointing this out. You know what I'm saying? You got to start listening, bro. All right, man, you got to start listening, man. Start listening. Start making these conversations personals. I don't do personals over here. I do builds, not personals. That's why I include the family. We having a good conversation. It's a, it's an honest question, bro. You get what I'm saying? Is he gambling? Is this gambling going to take away from his performance? Is he focused? to the degree that he needs to be focused or is he is he you know playing with his opportunity right here you need to 
you need to um that's done already it's done already that's done already he, he got to earn that he got to earn that back you just be doing too much but anyway man salute to the fan appreciate y'all pulling up for this early cook man truly do appreciate y'all supporting this just do box and grind man this is a hell of a grind we on it's been an interesting journey nonetheless we having a lot of good good conversations a lot of good boxing coming up and we're gonna keep enjoying it it's a kid who put a mental health disorder gambling before the biggest fight of his career the best for ryan garcia boom you get what i'm saying love love it love it that's all i don't dislike ryan i mean it's an honest question that and that's the problem sometimes too with boxing fans we got to learn to have these conversations like especially when it's just dude doing it you know how i give it up i don't i ain't kill him i ain't say ah this dude stupid as hell look what he doing i could have went in i ain't do that my whole energy been smooth the whole entire time it's an honest question bro that's the position he put himself in when you do something like this you know what i'm saying you gotta be smarter than that pardon me my bad fate and man much love and appreciation y'all know we back at four man and we're gonna set the table for a little while before chant get in the building and we gonna build y'all conclusion man salute to my bro fake conclusion charles throwing his money away ryan focus right while they're growing as a fighter every day the fans be contradicting themselves and Shakur and ej better boom boom bang that's how you do it man salute to all y'all man god self my brody what's good with it yes sir teach appreciate you man appreciate all y'all man you know we're gonna be we on it appreciate you man god so what's good with it fam yeah man we be back guys so four o'clock man shadeja green in the building man so if you got any questions man i'm gonna you know i'm gonna try to make sure we we all build you know what i'm saying and i appreciate her time and i appreciate y'all coming through this morning man so let me get up out of here i ain't mean to make this this long but it's like that when you're talking with your fam right so um, i'm on double duty today and i will be back much love and appreciation to all y'all on this good friday man um and y'all uh Y'all make sure y'all enjoy y'all Friday until I see y'all at four, man. All love to everybody. <laughs> All love to everybody. We gonna keep building it, D, man. He just, he killing me. BBO be killing me. That's my boy, but he be killing me. Man, but y'all, uh, y'all stay tuned, man. We working, man. We working. We working and we will be back, y'all. We will be back. So with that, with this one, y'all, we gonna get up out of here, family. Peace. <laughs>